Are you ready? It's time for Fifth Quarter on KALB. Sponsored by Christus St. Francis Cabrini Hospital and Mid-State Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center. We've reached the midway point of the high school football regular season, and there remain just two unbeaten Sen Law teams, Ash and Bunky. Could the Trojans and Panthers keep their perfect season alive during homecoming? Week 5 also gave us a pair of thrilling Thursday games, including a Squirrel Bowl to remember coming down to the final play. And Marksville and Oakdale battle it out in our game of the week. Highlights from the fifth week of the fifth quarter begins now. And welcome into week five of the fifth quarter here on KLV. I'm Harrison Vapnik. And I'm Julia Keller. This was an action-packed week in Sin Law, starting down in Oakdale as first-year head coach Kevin Bertrand was hoping to get a big home win against a hot Marksville team. Starting with the fifth quarter game of the week brought to you by Louisiana Farm Bureau. The Oakdale Warriors taking on the Marksville Tigers in what is sure to be a close game. Marksville with the ball. Devin Lavule takes the snap. He goes around the right side, easily getting the touchdown for the Tigers. They go up 8 to nothing. It's October, which means it's time to think pink. Both sides repping pink in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Tigers with the ball again. Lavule scrambles to the right, changes direction, passes to an open Elydric Murray, and he is off to the races for the 45-yard touchdown for the Tigers to go up 14-0. Oakdale now getting things rolling. C.J. Waller hands it off to Brandon Baker Guidry for the big run to put the Warriors just shy of the 10-yard line. Waller hands it off to Jacarvi Alsbury. He finds the hole to put the Warriors on the board, 14-6 Marksville. Marksville with the ball again. Lavule looks to pass, can't find a man. He keeps it. Not one Warrior is able to stop him, and he would get the touchdown. The Marksville Tigers would go on to beat the Oakdale Warriors at home, 30-6. Tigers are hot right now. Pineville looking to add to the win column on homecoming against Red River Bulldogs quarterback keeper. Not so fast. Bra Brady Banded with a sack for the Rebels as Pineville takes the first quarter lead 14 to 12. Red River back with the ball through the air. Defense deflected, intercepted. TJ Edwards taking it down the sideline flying on all cylinders with a huge game as Rebels led at the half 20 to 12. And a big congratulations to Malak Abdul-Jabbar as she claims the homecoming queen for Pineville. The story would be on the Rebels defense still. The ball is loose on the fumble and Jacob Miranda, the senior, with a scoop and a score for Pineville. Rebels get a big bounce back win and win on homecoming 32 to 20. Bolton looking to get their first win of the season. Kendrick Brown would hand it off to Ahmad Sykes, and he will say, watch out, I'm coming through, get out of my way. He would go untouched. Cougars would strike first, six to nothing. Grant back on the prowl, and Landon Freyu wants to keep it going, and he will do just that with a designated keeper and will go all the way 50 yards to the house. Grant's fan getting hyped. Sykes says, okay, Freyu, I see you, and will turn on the Jets. He will take it the distance and will go 50 yards of his own second touchdown of the night. 19 to nothing, Bolton not liking those results there. The second quarter now, Sean Williams goes 12 yards out for the score, and that will be the dagger. Grant wins big 46 to 8 to advance to 500 on the season. Julia, it's hard to believe there's only two remaining Sen Law teams that are unbeaten going into week five. It's, it's very crazy to even think about that. And one of the teams that is still undefeated are the Astrosians, one of the best teams in all of Class 5A. Congratulations to Ash Senior Homecoming Queen Grace Brown and her and the rest of the Trojans fans had a lot to cheer about. Already up 7-0, JT Lindsay gets some good blocking, throws down a defender, scores the touchdown, 14-0, loses some scary costumes. Same score, Ash goes through the air, Carson Sellers to Jimmy Duncan, 14-yard touchdown. It's 21-0 Ash within five minutes. Defense made some highlights too. It's Terry Jason going up sky high for the interception and a nice return. It sets up one of the best players in all of San Law, JT Lindsay. He's patient. Watch the spin move, and he's just going to run through the entire Manny defense for an unreal touchdown. The LSU commit scored three touchdowns in just the first quarter. A start to finish masterclass from Ash. They win it 69 to 7. 
Bunky hosts Winfield at home while crowning Amari Atkins as queen. Bunky owning homecoming from the start. Zion Lee on the ground, an easy six for Bunky to start the game. Bunky's Dylan Compton looking to go to the air. Pump fake, it's Kane Milligan with the shifty moves making the first down. Bunky wins the first 30 to nothing. Later in the game, Panthers take advantage of the bad snap. Winfield suffering from the sack. They would continue to struggle against the Panthers. Panthers with the ball. Zion Lee once again through the rain and across the sideline, picking up a big gain for the Panthers. But it wouldn't stop there for the Panthers. Houston commit Kyle Johnson says, I'm taking this to the house. A quick punt return touchdown for the Panthers. This is a huge run from him. And of course, we see him almost every week. They would get the win on home coming 50 to 14. The Houston commit all he does is make big plays. Another local local game. De Ritter hosting Jennings last night and check this out second quarter. Jennings up 7-0 on the punt return and look it's Humphrey Ned making some dragons miss. Takes it down for the Bulldogs to the doorstep in the very next play. His brother Chris Ned fakes the handoff does it himself for the score. 14-0 Jennings. Now it's going to be 14-7. Dragons at midfield. It's going to be Connor Rush for taking the pitch. Sheds defenders off to the races. A 45-yard touchdown for Rushford to tie up the game. But a big second half from Jennings leads to a 42-21 win, defeating the Dragons. Now it's just a couple of games, so we still have plenty of action to come on the fifth quarter. Stay with us. This fifth quarter score ticker is sponsored by Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service, real people. 